So you wanna be a streamer. You wanna stream to multiple platforms. You like to YouTube, you like to Twitch, you like to Beam. You think it's easy? You think it's easy? Yeah, it is. Today I'm gonna teach you how to stream or restream onto multiple platforms. Uh, for example, YouTube Gaming, Twitch.tv, Beam. I, at the moment, am streaming on Twitch.tv and Beam.pro. Only two platforms for the time being, just to make it easy for myself. But first things first, let's get onto the page where you guys need to go to. Restream.io. Type that into the box up at the top. Uh, once you sign in, basically, this is what it looks like. You essentially need to sign up. Uh, let me log out just to get things easy for you guys, just to start from straight scratch. So essentially, this is the page, Restream.io. Once you've registered, signed up, it's pretty straightforward. Just chuck in your email. That's my email on there. For those that don't know, once at gmail.com. And then you just make up a password, whatever it is. You'll get an activation email. Once the activation email comes in, you just activate it, obviously. And then you come into here, you log in. So before I start, and as you can see here, there's YouTube Gaming, YouTube, uh, Hitbox, Twitch. I think that's Hitbox. Looks like an Android sign. And then there's Beam.pro. Um, and when you log in, it's pretty straightforward here. As you can see, uh, you've got your dashboard, which is your main sort of area. You can essentially have multiple platforms. I, I, I don't know exactly how many you can have, but just to make it easy for yourself as a streamer, try to limit yourself to two. For example, Twitch.tv is my main, and I have Beam.pro as my second. The reason why I choose Beam.pro is, uh, so far it's an up and coming platform. It's got two second latency delay, which is great. Twitch seems to have a little bit longer, maybe two seconds more, three, four, five, I don't know. But at least the speed and quality of Beam.pro is great. So it's up and coming, recently bought by Microsoft as well. So Twitch.tv, I have it here, and then there's Beam.pro. If you click on Add Channel, you'll see the multiple, multiple options you have. You've got Beam, Twitch, YouTube, Gaming, Hitbox, uh, all the main ones are usually up in the top. Uh, these other ones I really don't know. Maybe it's for different countries, foreign countries and whatnot. But they're, uh, they list them all, as you can see, yeah, Daily Motion is even one of them. I didn't even know that. But there's multiple, multiple places you can stream at the same time. So how it works is you would just basically just choose the platforms that you want to use. So for example, if I click on Beam, connect to Beam. And it'll take you straight to your Beam page. Ask for approval. Just say yes to everything as you do. And boom, Beam.pro is added. Uh, every time you add in a new channel for your casting system, for what I use is OBS Studio. Uh, you can use OBS Classic or, or XSplit, whatever you want to use. Uh, but for me, since I use OBS Studio, you saw the little message before when it popped up, it told me to restart the program. So every time you make a new change and restream, don't forget to restart the program. Um, and the config is pretty straightforward. You don't have too much to edit. You just need to choose your server. Since I'm based in New Zealand, I choose Sydney. Sydney is the closest one that I have. Uh, most of them are Europe or Asia, South America, US countries. Just basically choose which country is the closest to you uh, for them to pick up the server. And it's, it's better, obviously. The closer it is, the better. What it is, is that the ones that have on, currently show on, shows the one that you'll be streaming to. Uh, at the moment, since I only have Twitch, which is on, then I'll be only streaming to Twitch. No point. Restream is a multiple application streaming platform, so why not two? So at the moment, you can see here, I have on for Twitch and on for Beam.pro. So right here on the right-hand side, uh, where it says RTMP URL. It's the same thing as before when you choose your server, but just in case, just to make sure, uh, there are other ones here. These are the main servers that you choose that are closest to where your region is in the world. So I've chosen uh, Australia, Secondary Sydney. It doesn't really matter for me. I, mean, I know there's two, but for US and in Europe, there's multiple options you can choose from. Now, the most important part is the restream key. Uh, as you can see here, copy the stream key and RTMP URL to the broadcast OBS XSplit Wirecast of oh, or your favorite encoder. So let me up, open up OBS Studio here. Okay, so this is my OBS Studio. Pretty straightforward, easy application. Um, I recommend OBS Studio, OBS Classic. Either one of them are great to use. So where I mentioned the stream key on the side, this is the most important part. You need to copy your code, whatever it may be. Where you need to put in the code is here. So when you go to general, it will be almost similar in OBS Classic, but depending on your program, you just need to find something similar to what I have here. Um, what I have here now is streaming services. You don't need to really change that one. The service that I currently use is Restream.io, which is the web page here. 
So you click on that. Since I'm streaming to multiple platforms, I'm choosing Restream.io. Uh, by default, I have it on Twitch. If I wanted to stream to a single platform, which is Twitch. So Restream.io. And it's the same thing as before. Make sure your RTMP URL is the same as the one you have here, Australia or Australia Secondary. Well, for me, since I'm based in New Zealand. So I choose Australia Sydney. And that stream key here that you had before, copy that, paste it into here, boom, and you're done. Uh, all the other settings you don't really need to change. All you need to change is your stream settings. That's actually pretty much it. You're good to go. As soon as you click on start streaming, you'll stream to multiple platforms. For me, I'll be streaming to Twitch and Beam.pro. When you start streaming live, you'll see your casting here. You'll see yourself live here on the screen. And at the moment it says offline, offline, but you'll see it also say connecting, connecting, and once it's online, it will say online with the green, the same color format as on here. There's also titles, which is great. You can update all your other streams. I use the stream Pokemon, which is awesome. So you can uh, change your title, say uh, restream, update all. And as you can see, it will update the title of the page. Restream, restream, restream. Cool. I used to do YouTube gaming as well, but I've stopped that for the time being. Uh, but for the game type, you have to actually specifically indicate what game you're playing here. The cool thing is that when you type in, for example, Pokemon, it'll list all the games that currently are relevant to Pokemon itself. You just need to choose the game, update, boom, and it's done. For example, as you can see here, update, thinking, thinking, boom. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Great. Now, another awesome platform application with Restream is this, the Restream.chat. This is how I usually uh, interact with other channels that I currently have, which is both Twitch and Beam. I'll show you the program right here. This is an awesome, awesome tool to use. Basically, this is what it looks like already. Anybody that's on uh, Hitbox, as you can see here, or Twitch, you'll see all their chat messages come up in this one simple application. Now, as you can see, it's loaded up. I'll see if I can give you an example. So at the moment, it says zero out of two, it's loading, cool. So this shows you your channels that's currently logged in. Uh, the eye here shows you how many people are currently viewing on your channel. As you can see here as well, this little eye thing, at the moment zero, zero, because I'm offline. The great thing is that it can distinguish whether how many people here are on Twitch and how many people here are on Beam, since I'm streaming to those two. And those two totals will add up into here, which shows you your total number of viewers overall. Another great thing with this application here on Restream is that when you select all chats, when you type in here, all chat uh, rooms, whether it be in Twitch or Beam or whatever streaming platform that you want to use, will pop up in all chat messages. So for example, if I move this to the side here, I'll have two pages up. And go to my channel here. Now. So as you can see, when I updated uh, the, the chat title to Restream, it's showing here as Restream now, which is great. Great application to do that. So if I go to the chat box here, let me check this in the middle actually, just to make it easier. So, where it says all chats, if I were to say hello all, yeah, you can see here on the left, beam, hello all, and hello all here on the Twitch side as well, which is amazing. So let's say if I were to say hi, I am on Twitch, look at me, boom, there it is, hi, I am on Twitch, look at me. And it shows you an icon where the person is actually messaging from. So in this case, it's showing on Twitch. If I were to say, hi, I am on Beam. Hi, I am on Beam. And it shows you the icon for Beam, which is great. So this tool is one that I use all the time if I'm using Restream. Restream is a great application for streaming to multiple applications. And it even has a chat program to show you where your interactive viewers are coming from if they were to talk to you which is amazing. So yeah, Restreamer.io is really straightforward. I'm just going to do another summary. Let's get back into here. Close that down, don't need that. Now the summary is basically, sign up into Restream.io. Once you're in there, this is your dashboard. Choose your channel, whatever channel you want to have multiple streaming platforms on. Once you're done, go to dashboard. Select it to be on, whichever ones you want to be on, on, on. I'm having Twitch and Beam.pro. Get your stream key, choose your region, wherever your closest server region is over here. 
uh, I choose Australia secondary or Australia whatever it is doesn't matter as long as it's the closest one to your country or your region in that country all the details here pretty straightforward once you've done that uh, you don't really need to copy this one here the main important part is the stream key once you have your stream key go to your streaming application whatever you use go to settings go to stream uh, choose your service which is restream.io get your key from restream.io the main web page and then copy it into here choose your server and then you're done server that is closest to you similar to the one that's on restream.io click ok and that's pretty much it you're done as long as you have the key in your streaming application then your live stream is good to go for those multiple channels that you have chosen start stream and boom you're good to go and of course don't forget to get the chat program here uh, restream.chat this is an example of what it looks like it's a great as you can see look connected 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 um, and that's pretty much it I'm not even too sure if this is live or not but or feeding from wherever but this is an example of what it actually looks like which is amazing it's a simple and easy to use tool restream.io I highly recommend it if you guys want to stream to multiple platforms so that's it for my tutorial for restream.io this is what I use and this is just instructional video of me trying to give a tutorial of how to use restream.io and that's pretty much it so uh, yeah I guess I'll see you guys in the live stream on beam or on twitch you know who I am, the name's Bluebit, and I'm from the Once Epic channel. Peace out, guys. Stay safe and continue to stay epic. Don't forget to do that. Tutorial of Restream.io. This is what I use. Now you know. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.